Hi guys, today we're going to be checking out the first Project Zero motherboard with an X870E chipset. So this is the MSI MAG X870E Tomahawk Wi-Fi PZ motherboard. Alright, so let's take a look, shall we? So just so you know, on my monitor, it looks kind of white, but in real life, it's more of a silver. It's not white at all, although the writing and some of the parts are actually white. So right off the bat, the top M.2 slot has an easy clip, but the bottom two covers do not. I'm slightly sad about that, but it's not the end of the world. Now let's go ahead and take the covers off. He's naked, guys. So let's embarrass him and talk about him while he's naked. So as you guys can see, he's got three PCIe slots and four M.2 slots. Uh, we'll start from the top and work our way to the bottom. So this M.2 slot is a 5.0 slot, so it doesn't share bandwidth with any of the other ports. So you can use your 40 gigabyte USB and still get that full X4 bandwidth on this one. So this one comes straight from the CPU, so it uses four of those lanes. Now right below that, we have the full X16 PCIe 5.0 slot. Obviously, also straight from the CPU and uses 16 of those CPU lanes. Then we have this M.2 slot. Now you can also get full PCIe 5.0 X4 bandwidth from this one, but it's shared with a USB-C 40 gigabyte port. So you have a couple of options here. You can get the full X4 bandwidth, but you have to disable the 40 gigabyte port, or you can use both the 40 gigabyte port and this slot. And if you do that, both will be at X2 instead of X4. Or you know what, you could just not use this slot and use the 40 gigabyte port. Personally, I usually only use the first slot so it doesn't really affect me, but if you're going to use more than one, you should keep that in mind. Now right below that, this one here is the M.2 slot number three. This one is a 4.0 slot. It runs at X4 and unlike the top M.2 slots, this one comes from the chipset. And actually, everything below here is going to come from one of the two chipsets. So remember, this is an X870E board, so it means that it will have two chipsets instead of just one like the X870. Next right here, we have the second PCIe slot. This one is only a PCIe 3.0 slot, so it will run at X1 only. And right below that is the last M.2 slot. This one is also a PCIe 4.0 that runs at X4. And finally, at the bottom of the board is the third PCI slot. This one is a 4.0 X4 slot connected to the second chipset as well. Mm. Okay, one quick note for all of these connections. If you're using a Ryzen 8000 series CPU, you're not going to be able to run at the fastest speed and full bandwidth. Uh, the numbers I just went over are the 9000 and 7000 series CPUs. And also what I'll do is I'll find the block diagram from the manual and just edit it in. And I'm going to put it up on the screen and if you like, you can see it and just, you know, pause the video. Alright, so right up here we have the memory slots. You can see that they are white. And for this motherboard, you always want to slot into A2 first and then B2. Also, I really like the colors of this board, the heat sinks, and the heat sinks all have a nice silver quality. And you know what I think it is? I think it's because the more light that shines onto it, the more white it looks. And if there's less light, the more grayish it looks. And over here, you have the easy PCIe release button here. All right, so let's uh, put this guy up to the side so that you guys can see his ports. Okay, so let's start with the 40 gigabyte USB-C port. So these are the ones that are shared with that M.2 slot that I was talking about earlier. And below that, 
Okay, you know what? I, wait, I'm having a hard time holding this straight. Let me just... I'm gonna lay it down and let the other camera handle it. Okay, so you guys can see all the ports. It's labeled. I can't really see it because I'm back here and I don't want to block the light. But like I said, it's labeled and you guys can just pause and read all of it. Alright, so let's flip it over and take a look at the back side now. As you can see here, all the connections are on the back of the motherboard. I mean, that's why it's called Project Zero. But aside from being on the back, the general location is the same. So for example, on the side, you have your main ATX power connections and USB connections. On the top, you have your EPS cables. And at the bottom, you have the rest of the headers like the front panel connection, additional fan headers, RGB header, basically the same ones you'd see on a normal motherboard. Okay, before I end this part, like, look at Lucky, he's so cute. Alright guys, so that was a quick preview of the MSI MAG X870E Tomahawk Wi-Fi PZ motherboard. So, I hope you guys liked this type of video. If you guys did, leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe while you're at it. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!